Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Syamil Najibuddin bin Samsul Kamal And today uh, I hope all of you have a great day Have a good day And I want to share a topic That relate to the cause of foundation Of psychology and counselling And before that first of all I want to thank to Madam Sherleti For teach me uh, in this course and give me more explanation and uh, understanding about this course and the term that I choose uh, to this course mental health and identity issues and this uh, I think uh, the the great topic the best topic uh, to me uh, to elaborate all right so what is the identity and self discovery Okay, identity and self-discovery is delves into the uh, intricate process through which individu uh, individuals come to understand themselves. The factors that shape their identity and the journey of self-discovery that often involves introspection, uh, personal growth, and the influence of external force. In the field of psychology, this term of identity and self-discovery hold great significance and are uh, uh, central to understanding human behavior, mental health, and overall well-being. Okay, and the relevancy of this term in my personal experience. First, personal development, which is understanding one's identity and engaging in self Discovery is essential for personal development and it involves exploring one's values, beliefs, strengths, weakness and interests, contributing to a deeper understanding of oneself. And the last is cultural and social context. Identity is often influenced by cultural and social factors and understanding one's identity in the context of cultural and societal norms can lead to a deeper appreciation of diversity and a more inclusive worldview. And from my experience in cultural and social context, humans will go through the maturity phase of life when they involve themselves with communicates with different educational backgrounds religions job levels and educational levels indirectly they will evaluate people attitude and way of life which indirectly also form their own character based on Carl Rogers self theory according to Rogers individuals strive for self actualization and the self concept is a crucial component of this process and self discovery involves aligning one self concept with their actual experience and emotions same with human life which is necessary for opponents in the acceptance of different cultures that will shape their identity and level of thinking migration will make a person more appreciative of what he owns and what is the right of others okay the positive aspects from Carl Rogers theory are empathy and unconditional positive regard by practicing empathy and accepting others without judgment can contribute to more meaningful connections but for negative side of Carl Rogers theory is this theory may approach a lack cultural sensitivity the emphasis on individualism and self-actualization may not fully address the cultural that shape identity and self-concept in diverse populations and in real life applications this theory emphasizes on self-actualization and the belief in individuals inherent drive towards personal growth 
resonates with real life experience of individuals seeking meaning and fulfillment. In conclusion, human psychology is necessary for mixing in society or the way to want people to involve to the society that makes a person form in himself a quality mind, common sense and able to recognize the level of self-ability in evaluating a matter.